Hello and welcome to day two of the Stanley Cup playoffs of NHL on EA Sports. I'm Paintbrush and today's matchup, we're going to be seeing the next matchup for the rematch after the team making a lead series in the game in the first round. Right now, we're about to see who is going to take the second win in between by each team's. Next up, and the last. First up we have is Pittsburgh Penguins and Boston Bruins. Right now the Bruins have a 1-0 lead to start the series off stronger than played here and won in overtime over the Penguins score of Sidney Crosby. Now there's somebody else that could try to go with the play in on the run. We will have to find out if there is another way to try to keep the deck out of trouble. So we'll have to see who can take the most goals in a game. Right now, standing by for the, co for the uh, commentary reports, we have another one to give that one a start. Me phone, along with the other players that will be entering here for the second one here for tonight, and that will be OJ. And then, on a center ice if it goes, we have another one to give that one a good look of the eye. And that will be, you know, of course this one is always given a great opportunity range, test two. I will be here back for the post-game show, and for the second game, we'll keep your eyes covered here for the Hurricanes and Islanders, as Son of Beast will be taking the commentary in Carolina for the next one to keep on. So we'll keep you updated here as soon as we can. Let's get started, folks. Game two, here we go. Enjoy, guys. It's game two. Me from four here, along with the other player of the commentary of the contestant of OJ. And this is Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Opening face-off about to begin here in Ice of TD Garden. The puck is dropped and we are ready to go. Courtesy lineup is being here as follows. We have is Taylor Hall. Around for the back we have is Brad Marchand. Then we have is, then we have is Taylor Hall. Then across on the back is Kreselchek. And then we have on the other hand here, we have is McAvoy. I like to say that McAvoy was simply a one of the better player that has ever done with his team to try to keep the range out of it from the hand. I like it when they play very aggressive on that run. They've really got a high strength. Grizzle check. We bounded it up here at stop by Jari. Jari is a starting lineup here for the goaltender of Pittsburgh Penguins. And the other side right now is Linus Olmark. That will be the starting goalie for the Boston Bruins. First stop made here by Jari. Now they're set to get started here with the faceoff. We're here at TD Garden as zeros in the game. On the other hand, we have is Latang. Across the matter, on the other hand, is Zucker. Moves over to Raquel. Shot! Shot by Olmark. That one gives us a good stop look here for the start of the second, second game of the first period. You know that one here, they've really got a good look here in offense. When I have to tell them that they have gotten to great feats, they have a stronger ability, they keep it wide open. That's what they really wanted to do to try to stay alive. Exactly true. Rock it out shot, stopped by Olmark. Olmark with the second stop here for the, uh, for the game. Trying to put it back here into the other side, back to Demolet. Raquel back over to Zucker. 17 minutes to play in the first period, still tied up. Raquel shot, rebound up front here by Almar. That stopped here again, and another one goes to Foligno. Boston Bruins are taking their own possession on the offensive run. Boston now trying to stop and cover. Foligno right to the corner of the wall, back to Lindholm. Lindholm reaching out in trouble. Pittsburgh back the upper fence to run to run the aggressiveness on the P. With a shot, stop made by Omar. Omar was able to do what he has. We know about him because he has definitely played in the Winter Classic on the frozen field. That really has to make that one a good look of an aggressive drive. I see that Linus Omar was able to tell him that his team was doing well. And he says, the teams are terrific. That's why they always want one of the players that can try to stop it down. We never seen anybody like this. And if I want to be the next person to be out here to help the team, 
It's my job duty. That's what Omar has his response. Tate and battle down here as we have this McLaughlin. McLaughlin on the outside of it, around the net. Kicks off to Smith. Mids is over to Carlo. Carlo with the shot. Stopped by Jari with the save. We'll hold the puck here with just only 14 of 7 remaining in the first period. Players are ready to take the inbound here for the offense faceoff. Score still is at zeros. No score yet. Patterson with the win. Recovering the puck on the offensive side. Marchman, Bergeron. Here's Marchman back the air away. We're on the net. Right toward Hall with the shot. Through the rebound in and put stopped by Jari. He's doing a good offense right there. That's why the player wants to really help out the goaltender to try to save it without going to fucking into the net. They have a lot of responsibility to go back to where they came from. Bergeron wins the faceoff. Clifton outside, back over to Hall. He swings back over to Clifton, right over to Forbert. Forbert back to Clifton. Take it around the middle, Bergeron. That's Bluger with the steal. Penguins regain their group. Taken away by a, def by a defender. Marchand making a snappy on the move. Trying to move around the back with the rebound. Rebound behind the net. That goes up and out of play. Players are set to take the inbound here for the offense zone to pick up a frozen puck drop. Now with the win for Sidney Crosby. Luger with the puck. I'm sorry. Excuse me with that one. Carter on Zacha. Trying to put a puck. Great stop by Zacha as the shot is been blocked for Penguins. They're really good at offense. I mean, how hard do they work? We have a lot of responses. There is one way that they could try to go with the crouch down with the knee and block the shot to try and deflect it. They have absolutely no clue how are they going to do. They have nothing else to go right behind. They have a lot of aggressiveness. Keeping it out of hand, no problem. All marks stop again. Move the shot. Up a good save here. Grizzle check will try to clear the buck out. Icing is whistled on Boston Bruins. This will, will stop the play with 11.09 to go. Now players are inbounding, ready to take another offensive faceoff to take the game in. With the win, Zacha almost would have been tipped off to knock him down. Really can't find it. Maybe that one way they can try to like spread the word is try to have the man guard openers. It might be even possible to try to go with a, with a heavy run. Might be very hard to tell. They've got to go with the truth. With a stop. Kirchie has got the puck right over to McAvoy. McAvoy right to the, right to the puck of a corner. Gives off to Greer. Greer shot. Blocked up in front. Miss fires. Goes back offside of it, call. Now McAvoy will have his own puck in time. To give off to Greer. Greer moving in front of it. Trying to go with the backhand. And it went too far. That's a defender who tacks him over. Saucer pass over to Malkin. Rodwaldell with the puck. Now going to offense zone. To Raquel. Raquel trying to go with the with a screenplay. Malkin scores! First goal in the playoffs of game two. And it's Malkin. Take a one nothing lead. With Malkin ability, that has to go with the right around the defender of Allmark. Was able to try to go stop the player right inbound. It's going to be tough because it's not very easy to go right from head to head search. They're not really aggressive to try to keep the runner and go back with the strength. They have to get over and go right around it. Allmark stop here. Coil right over to Foligno. Boston regaining the group on offense to pick up another run. No pick up that play. Dumoulin right to Raquel. 8-10 to go in the first period. Try to leave a man opener at Omar stop save. Lindholm right back over to Foligno. Foligno in the corner. Try to pick a runner up. Coil 
shot. Love saved by Jari. Raquel with the puck right over to the tank. Lynn Holm recovers the puck here for Boston area. Now it's Malkin. Rue Raquel. Raquel in the pursuit. Lindholm with a poke away. Frederick right in the pursuit. Take the Lindholm shot. Stop by Jari. What a good releasing play as this one almost could have been a collision out there to go with the hook. Almost too close to call, but got to get over it. Now we have across from here, we have Test Tube standing by. With that one on the run, McAvoy with the ultimate of the way that they can try to go with the attacker on the run. Most agreeing is just keen eyes on the target. They're not really insane. And for Sidney Crosby, he releases another one with the goal that goes with the backhand beauty. He knows his team. When he gets his eyes open, he goes with the backhand to pick up the run. I'll be keeping an eyes on those two players to keep up their runs. Back to you guys. Almost went in, but it went on top of the net and went right toward the board over the net of the goal. Oh, close call. Might have to give that one another run. Carlo deflected off to good set out. Good set out to Crosby. Crosby with a stuck in stop. Bergeron's got it now. Lugette's now trying to keep it up to carry. Five minutes left to play in the first period. Rust around the corner. Give it up to Smith. Omar could have had that one to poke it away. But it was scared off by Smith. McLaughlin out of trouble. Having trouble to keep it going here as the Crosby's team might go for the tie. Well, the tie game of the series? I mean, what could be figured? Might have to give his eyes out there to try to keep off the run. Here's Smith. Gives it up over to Creer. Creer right into the corner. Give up to Grezelchek. To McAvoy. McAvoy over again. Take it on Rister. Pus, pack plus, deflected. Deflected, I should bet. Grezelchek. Moving it around. Check with the first goal of the game. It's now tied once. He was able to look for an open spot of it. He's clear on that one, but that goal was going to be a deliberation to go right into the net. That was given up a hard run for the Penguins to try to look for an open look. He finds room. He was right in there. He got a good screen, good puck and play. That's a great feed to give that one a good look for Grizzlecheck. And with that one, the Boston Bruins have tied the game, to the game in Game 2. It's now 1-1. One to one. Grizzlecheck to McAvoy. McAvoy shot. It's the stop by Jari. Goes over to Carter. Trying to hit the runner. And it will be stopped by Petray. Petri to Blue Girl. Now over to Raquel. Raquel on the run, with a move, Sacha with a steal. Now we're under two minutes to play in the first period, it's still an even game. Pleasure check, try kick, can't find it, anybody. As Forbert will have to try to go back on defense. Raquel with the puck, off to Zucker, with a shot, stopped again by Forbert. Now we're to Frederick, Frederick on the corner. Oh, made that one a good stop. Patterson back the other way, just down to a minute to play in the first period. Here's Malkin, poked away. Great stop here by Fulmer. Fulmer was able to do excellent on this move. Keep that one tight. Play no. Pass, almost broken up. Dumoulin over to Latang, back over to Malkin. He gives it back to Raquel. Gore with the man shot. That stopped again with the pass saved by Olimar. Walking clear it out. Try to give it a run. Go with the post meter. Oh no! That was it. He didn't have enough time already, but it was a save. Yep, keep it strong. They got more to cover. And we have reached the end of the first period. Second period coming up after the break.
Glad to be back with you for game two as we got the second period coming up. On with the game. The score is even after a good shot here. That gives it up to a good one for Malkin. And another goal on the other hand we have is Grusel check. There are tough teams to play here since we've seen them playing in the Winter Classic once again. They really have no other, or patience to try to give up their run. Yeah, exactly. I was able to see what was going to happen. I know that it was very tough, but be in mind, there are tough teams that try to go with the rebound and take it back in there. It may not be a rival matchup because that's in between the Massachusetts and Pennsylvania section from Pittsburgh and Boston, but they might be playing out there like they have never done it before more, more than one time. Charlie, he makes a stop here with only 18.26 to go in the second period. The tie scores remain. Players are set, ready to take it inbound here on the offensive side. Score is still even. Now with the win, here's Pedersen. Trying to give it up to Raquel. In now on the offense board. Going with the poke check away. Sacha with the stop. Pass your next, going with the snipe. To the one! Genji almost went made that pass broken up. That was close call because he has he was gonna make that one a timing a lot right. But that didn't really help. That didn't work, so he has to make a plan B to go with the number zone. Now in the corner now is Grizzlejack. Gives it over to Carlo. Look out! That stopped again here by old by Jari. Pasternak's Lynn home over to Carlo. He gets it for Pasternak's. With a wrist shot, he's blocked up. That's stopped by a defender on Penguins. Pasternak's to Lindholm. Lindholm shot. Wrist one and it was deflected right toward the board of the net. Carlo to Lindholm. Keep going with the passes. Now swings to Gretchy. Gretchy with the move. Blocked him out. Trying to pull it back with the puck. Pasternak's trying to get one per tree. Now Pittsburgh Penguins are on the offense zone to take their run. Clean the puck around the butt net. It's Foligno with the puck. Boston regaining the group. Will not need that point and they will go back the other way. Kuchet's now in the middle. Make a rub in front. Stop by Omar. Omar keeps that one going here for good. They're really on to a tight run on the offense. That's because they were able to go from the hard pass to easy pass. They were really that tough. Trying to keep in mind, there are going to be a tough one to try to deliver it out. Clinton shot. Take the rebound in. And Foligno was blood jammed up. Trying to recover the puck again. Here's Coyle. Oh, missed up at the pass. Korborak will try to regroup the puck. With the move, Petri takes a stop after Jari say. Try to hold with the move. Rust with the puck. Now on to Getsetsev. Two on one. With the shot. Wrist would save me by Omar. Frederick moving around the man. He's all alone. With the move. He's blocked. And Jari covers it with a save. Oh, Greer trying to go with the fight back. Says, never mess up on me. How would you ever try to stop me? I never get caught up easy. Back pass over to McLaughlin. Over to Gresselcheck. Over to McAvoy. Taking a shot. Taking a deflection. And it was off again. Rhetoric recovering the puck. Wow, my goodness. In the corner now, over to Gresselcheck. Keeps the puck alive. Brought to Greer. Puck not able to take in time as McKinn gets the puck. McKinn right into the offense zone. Stop the puck by Omar with the pad save on toe. Keeping it alive is Bluger. Berger on set. Oh, Mel snapped that in there. Picking up a huge save by Jari. Mijin right to the offensive corner on his side. Moving around the man, taking a little ankle break in, but Omar did show up. 
He's already good. He's not really focusing on his mo more intentional speed. That puts up a lot of weave to weave zone. I mean, what is the big difference? Can it be a different offense? I don't think so, because that one may be a tough one to go right around to go with the hat trick move. That could be a hard one to go from here. Zucco has to pop back. Passing the mid-period left in the second period to score still even. Bergeron with it now. Bergeron stepping in, 2-1! Stopped by Jari. Big time moment. Now he will have to reset with the puck, ready to take the face off in offense zone. With the two guys, here's Olmark as we have Test Tube standing by. Linus Olmark as an x-ray position to give up with a better run of his attack. He can try to keep his right and steady. After with a huge save, they can go back over to it again. Here's Zucker in trouble. Oh, Olmark with a save. Pulling it back right down the board to Green. That's a great offensive zone because that was almost giving up a huge stop here. And this one's going to be almost taking a lead here. But not for long. They're going back to do it again. Exactly, Mondo. Smith carried out. Creel. One time stop. is off and bounced away by Malkin. Malkin taken away. One on one. Move around a man. Stop again, my old one. Kiss it back over to Zacha. Eight minutes going by in a second period. Score still even. Here's McLaughlin. Pasha that shot. So they almost went back. Right toward the board. Thomas went fleeing out. Well, it looks like the Jari was able to try to fling the puck with the net. I don't know if that was a clear hit. That was a little bit dirty on that play. Icing is the call, and the entire defensemen are giving up their runs. We now have the faceoff coming up. Now with the win, with the shot, and it goes out of play and right into the crowd. Now with the new player, we have Test Tube standing by. Linus Olmark has already have been taking his own time. The moment sees the thing when he has his x-ray vision to give that one a good look of an ability run. His moment keeps on going. I'll be keeping an eye here on Linus Olmark if he has a wild save to take over from the players on the, on the offense. Back to you guys. Gedry, that's blocked. Gedry trying to hold it back, but now it's Gucciat's cell with the puck. Oh, big smack down. What a play. They're all to it now. They're all wasting to go with the energy. But fear the bear, the bear, they were getting it over and under. Here's Frederick with the puck. Now swings to Falagno. McAvoy outside. Over to Krzyzewczak. With the shot, it's blocked. Frederick over again. Coyle, bursting it up with the shot. That's stopped again by Jari. Stick to the way as Frederick recovers it. Not able to do it in time. Crosby trying to hold on. Foligno shot! Oh, Charlie stopped again. He was able to clear the deck, but now he was already just saying, no way, Jose. It's still my say to keep going. A lot of careers out there. <laughs> keep your eyes out. That really might be Jolly a good to stop a moment. Carlo outside, and a delay penalty, and it calls for Penguins with a slash. Drew O'Connor into the penalty box, as right now the power play is on for Boston Bruins. Power play coming up here for the Boston Bruins, as they will have a chance to take the lead with a power play goal. Bergeron takes over to win. McAvoy outside. Now he has delivered it off to Hall. Right back over to McAvoy. Taking a big lift here. And there's another penalty. This one goes with another slash. And this goes to Jeff Carter. Uh-oh. Two minutes in trouble. Trying to keep it out of the range.
Now the man advantage for free on five on three attack for the Boston Bruins. Now with the win, here's Latang. Trying to deliver it back. Latang over it now. Flinging it from deep will clear the Peck Duck out of here. Now Marchand has the puck. In a racing attack. Go with a 2 on 1. Stop the game by Ojari. Making a move in front. Here's now Hall. Boston back to the offense zone with just one minute and five on three attack. Open look, Lindholm to Hall. To Lindholm with a shot. Trying to flick it in, but it was going off of the net. With Hall, Marchand trying to stop. Wishing a rough and aggressive run. Kiss over to Hall. Hall trying to go with the back run. Lindholm back outside, trying to shoot, and stopped again by Jari. He's okay, he was already trying to keep up the run, like he was ever going to do that again. Man advantage over, and now only 12 seconds to go. He's almost ready to go, he's ready to come out to the penalty box. Fraligno, and they are back to even strength up with the play, and power play is over. Crosby, back to O'Connor. They're all really good. That's why they were going to give up a run. Because of that one, if the Penguins were in trouble, they were going to get rid of it and for no other call. Sartre in the move for the shot. Stop by Jari. Wow. Jari has already been lifting it up to stop the play to end this run for the Bruins to with the 2 0 lead, looking for a tie game. That's why they really have to do with that one because. If Jari was able to keep up with the save, that means he has to do it once more. He's got to give up a good credit. Here's Greer. Try to move him in. And Sucker takes a steal and go back the other way. Malkin try to hold it up. Right, everyone's chanting, let's go Bruins. Just one minute left to play in the second period. Right now, here's Greer. No goals made here for the second period, as only first period comes from a previous play with a 1-0 for Penguins and a 1-1 game after aggressive check making a goal. McAvoy! Rebound in front, and they'll know where to be behind. McLaughlin to McAvoy. Try to deliver the aggressive check. Back to McAvoy. Shoots and fires, scores! It's Smith here for the flexion. They now have the extension. Now they're on the leaderboard. Craig Smith, are you kidding me? That the flexion was right in it. That was a great help. And putting it back in there turned to be a one-time look as the points for team leaders for Craig Smith. Yeah, I got a good look at that one. Craig Smith got a bit of deflection in there after with assist by McAvoy. He really have a lot of a hard advantage to try to keep him running in depth. I'll be keeping an eye on Craig Smith to keep up the runs. Back to you. And that will do the end of the second period. A deflection goal for Craig Smith after McAvoy's assist. Third period underway next. This is where we come down to the third period of Game 2. We hope you enjoyed while watching the first game. If you're tuning in to the second game of the Hurricanes and Islanders, we got your next game coming up in just a few minutes. And with, with the next commentator, we will have is Son of Beast and Silver Spoon here at Carolina. And at center ice right now, we will have another look at the opinion of the player. They have Light Frame. Back to the game, we have his Hall. With a shot, stopped again by Jari. Bergeron trying to hold the save here. And McAvoy has his first assist here in the game. Right over to Craig Smith. With a good help here on offense. Helping the team as McAvoy was able to go right from heavy traffic. Yeah, absolutely. They're always giving a good runs. Oh, wow. Almost had it in there, but good stop. But like I said here before, that McAvoy was able to do a good moment. 
but he's helping teammate of his own. He has a lot of free quotes to give him up with here that their team was strong. I know it's tough, but it can't be denied out there if I have a better player to go with the deflection. It's my job to keep right from the heavy moment to try to stop the player on defense. Might be tough, but no longer how hard you play, you get the deflector and you have it in there. After an offside whistle, here's Pasternak. Satcha with the puck outside, now brings it off to Lindholm. Poked away, Ketchy with a stop. Puck clears out of the net. Boston regain their group right back into the offense zone in the Penguins' territory. Pasternak's in the corner, gives over to Carlo. Carlo making over. Met double man on him as it's blocked in front of it. That's still giving out a range of sight. Have to keep regrouping the puck. We're at Kelly Malkin. Zucker free on two. Going over to Malkin. To Raquel. No penalty recalled on Boston. Puck clears out. Frederick takes over. Oh, pass out. Oh, that was close call. Not enough to keep up the rogating out there as another stop made by Jari. Hit the goal post! Almost went into flacking into the net. Well, let's keep them out of here. That would have been a good stop here to go with a heavy look. That has to do it right. They can't lose it. With a two-on-one, stop again by Jari. That's two-time stop on Coyle. Gives it the Coyle run. Shoots for the net. That stopped up by the chest made. Forward to Clifton. With a move. And he says no. Back off. Forward. Locked it up in front. Omar will try to swing the deck. Give it over to Forward. Off to Feligno. Give it right over to go around the net. Now it's Coyle with the puck. Gives over to Clifton. Back to Coyle. He swings back over to Clifton. Bam down. That's a tough one to give out with a bear down. Puck carries out of the play, and the faceoff is on its way next. Teams are ready to take their offense run in a team faceoff. Score is Bruins 2 and Penguins 1. Petri, glove save. Gear with the puck. Brezelcheck will have to fling the puck out. Now here's Smith. Smith can't find an open man. Smith with the puck right over to, again to McAvoy. McAvoy can't able to hold on. Grasselcheck waiting for the new group. Now it's McLaughlin with the puck. Giving up the pant, and Jari will have to regroup the puck. Now back to Pedersen over to Crosby. Crosby flings up the board. Rosette's down. Recover the puck here by his march hand. Battery! Ooh, went around outside of it too soon. Try to go back over to March Man. March in the middle. Try to move it in. March in to Hall. With a shot, it's tipped. And Jari Stop made a save. That's still going there. I can't believe that Jari was still getting it right. Now the players are set, ready to take the face off in the offense zone on the Penguins territory. Now with the win, here is Carlo. Back to Pasternak. Carlo swing back to Lindholm. Almost when losing the puck. Back to Carlo. Slap shot, that took him over. Try to give it to Pasternak. Peterson, Patterson, back to O'Connor. Nearing the midway period is O'Connor. Back to Hayden. Hayden scores! Oh boy, we're tied up now. They're all going fans crazy. That gives them a Penguins to take a tie out of it. Hayden with the first goal in the playoffs. The Penguins are tied up now with just only under 11 minutes and just approaching there trying to keep the runs out of it. Now here's Pedersen over to O'Connor. 
Trying to take the run over Hennig. Good stop made. Ooh, Olmark made that one a good one. Here's Pasternak's back the other way. Passing, fling it over to Zacha. Recover to Bakechi. Blocked to the front. Petri gives it over to Palmkin. Pulling over to O'Connor. And Krejci with the steal. Zacha with the puck. Now swinging back over in and out. Ederson back to pulling. Pulling to O'Connor. Pittsburgh back to the offense zone. Take a shot and stop by Omar. And a big save. Both senior players are set, ready to take the faceoff inbound. We are all tied up. It's twos on the board. Coyle finds Carlo after a face-off win for the Bruins. With a stop by Zucker. Big stop! Take a smash hit and go back with the flow to reset the group. Flagno, ready for the cover shot. Frederick trying to fall, fall out. Flagno, stop again! Right behind the net. Goes out of play and we got the face-off coming up. There's a lot of reboundings out there for the Bruins. Seemingly there are no way to get in there. That is very tough. There are nowhere to be found out if the player was open enough. He was wide out there. Might not be enough to try to keep it going to try to stop the run. Icing is whistled on Pittsburgh with only 8.26 to go in the third. Now the win comes in over to the mullet. Latang with it now. Gives it over to Raquel. Raquel blocks it up. Clifton will have to hold on with the puck. Now give it back to McLaughlin. Malkin in over in the, in the corner. Sucker shot. Stopped by Omar. Out over again is Fulbright. Sam back to Raquel with a bad pass. Swings to the mullet. Back over to Zucker. Zucker right into it now. Stopping made by Omar. They're all the way getting there. Can't believe it what they're going to do now. Fulbright back to Smith. Smith firing the puck in deep. Now we're to Greer. Greer moving in. Stopping the puck again on Jari. Jari's doing a lot of heavy work. He is doing really well out there for this season. And in postseason, they, yes, they do. For regular season, they may have a hard time, but the wild card may be impossible to give up on number run. They have to do something else to try to keep their runs on alive. Moving inside the center of his own, here's Hall. Back the airway goes. Hall moving into the corner of the offense zone, trying to pick up the numbers. With a one-time shot. Bergeron stopped Bay by Jari. McAvoy. Gives it over to, 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 to Bergeron. Carter, McAvoy. Still no sign they try to make him slow down. Puck shoots wide. McGinn, try to fight for it. Luger with the puck. Into McGinn. Behind the net. Finding Carter. Bergeron, good stop with the poke check. Merchant takes it over. The Bruins take their possession along the way. All right toward the corner. Now Marksman will have to find it our way. All will give it back over to Okrasilchek. McAvoy will have to no, not really get over it. Play's coming down to four minutes to go in the third period. McKinn, McAvoy, trying to recover the puck. Now gives it over again. Try to go with V, but can't hold on. Here's Crosby. Try to go with the rust. Shot. Stop. Two times stop. What a play by Omar. They're already getting him over it. It looks like that Sidney Crosby was looking for his first assist to try to go with the run. McAvoy rebounded up and pass Jari save. Stop by Crosby. Taking a little big bounder to try to close the gap. McAvoy, back over to Frederick. 
Coil in the offense zone on the Penguins' territory. Gives it to Lindholm. To Coral. With a shot. A little diving traffic here, but turned out to be just okay. Retreat over to Goodsets now. Russ trying to swing it back. Back to Patterson. With a shot. He is blocked. And what a play. Coil. Close to gap out. Patterson trying to hold it through. You sucker. Over again to Coil. Now the fans are going wild. They'll chant and let's go for the Bruins. Sucker. Good stop by Omar. And Greer. Line changing motion. Passing the puck around the board. Tumbler and bang out with the demolition. Shoots one. Rebound. Oh, Jari made that save with a stop. Oh, he's still open. I can't believe it. Now with the call, we have his test tube standing by. Brad Marchand has the deliberation to go for to make it snappy. His motion it keeps it going. As for Sidney Crosby, he has always gives up a beauty backhand goal. For the moment, he can try to give up a good run to try to give him a beauty backhand. The motion is hard for him, but the way that he plays, he tries to make an easier way to try to go with a trick idea to make that one go far. I'll keep an eye on two players in between Marchand and Sidney Crosby in between. Guys, back to you. Try to kick the puck over to Forbury. Down to the wire. Needs to get there straight. With that win! Oh, Jari save! And it goes back the other way, and we are going to overtime. Second time in a row. No questions. Let's do this, team. We'll be right back after this. The second time in overtime of the Penguins and the Bruins. They are a tough team to try to really reach out their goal and try to take it away from the deck. Now they're really on to a better position to give that one a worthy credits. I don't know what to say about this, but uh, but they were already have been gaining a lot of uh, hard card crash course and contest. There is one way I have to keep an eyes on. If one player was going to go in there, they might get a goal. It could be ending the game and they could tie the series up here with the Penguins. If not, maybe the 2-0 extension run could be Penguins over, could be Boston over Penguins. It could be really hard on that one before they are ready to take their way to game three and four at Pittsburgh to go against the Penguins. Well, it may be tough though, but keep your eyes open. There might be another way they could try to take the deck and pressure back. Now it's time to see who could win the second game in overtime of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Overtime about to begin now. It's time to see who will win the next one. Off we go. Joseph on the home with a shot pad saved by Omar. Try to fight with the rebound. Now Marchand's turn to go right to the Boston Bruins area. With a free on man rush. Gives it to Lindholm. With a shot, glove saved by Jari. We'll have to stop the play with 4.15 to go in overtime. Now they're really in trouble out there to try to keep the duck out of it. There's nobody out there behind. They have to do something else to try to keep the pressure alive. No matter if it's Pittsburgh or Boston. Crosby wins the faceoff. Uchets now aimed to the right corner. Going with it now. Taking a shot. Rebound on the front. What a stop by Omar. Firing the puck out. Bergeron set outside. Try to go back where the offense roam. Over to Lindholm. And we'll have to regroup here to try to give up another run to try to make new line changes. Exactly. Because they're not really going with it now, they can't be going out there like that. Oh, Joseph! Joseph, two-time stop. But unfortunately, the man out there, he's posted with the backhand. Oh, Jerry, pull of a save. 
and rushed back the other way. He was all alone. I don't see what's going on with him, but that might be enough to give him a hard look. Wow. Russ stopping the play. That takes over by Lynn Holm with only two minutes to go in an overtime period. Try to give it up. McAvoy! Stop again by Jari. Try to go with the run. He is pulling big out there. What a play. Crosby with the puck. Slings it, Pete. Russ, now not one. They takes it over. Now here's Hall. Racing to the net. Two on one. Scores! That's it. The game winner in the second time in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Richie. Wow, wow, wow. Hall was able to pass that. What a lucky game. And what a wild win. The Bruins got two of them. Crunchy as Hall picks up a liberation to take the pass and win for all. What an excellent run. I have to say now we all salute fans. Thanks for everybody. The Bruins are wild and they are about to be roared. They are the top teams in the Atlantic Division. Well, as for me, friends, standing by along with OJ and Testu, this has been a presentation of the second game of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now it's time to send you over to Paintbrush to close the game for three stars. And the next game will be underway soon, so keep your eyes to here. Good night, everyone. All right, Eton, thank you very much. Three stars are up. Third star goes up to Matt Grizzlecheck. A goal and assist. Right around a saucer and made more room to make that one a good look. The second star goes out to Tristan Jari with 50 saves. Going out with their big... Really can't believe it. And your first star goes out to Linus Olmark. 37 saves out there. Really done a great job of an X-ray vision to pick up a save. So that is it. Bruins extend their lead series a 2-0 over Pittsburgh. We'll have to find out if Pittsburgh can try to answer back in game three and four if they can tie the series up. Now with the better plays, we will have the next game up as we got the Carolina Hurricanes at home to play against the New York Islanders at PNC Arena. So at that point, if you're in tuning into the second game, we will be right with you shortly. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL on of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to his channel, follow him on his social media, and don't forget to to post a comment down below if you have a, any suggestions made, we're happy to help. And don't forget, the new animation epic release of the episode of the Anime and Sandy Invitational has already been released. So don't forget to watch here on the right on Animation Epic's channel. Links are in the description here if you have not followed any social medias on Sun and Peace. Thank you for joining with us and see you next time. If you don't Somebody will.